I'm with Nick Lecorio. He's just uh, recently come out of his that Royal Court today where they delivered the judgment and the costs matter with him, with uh, Deputy Wickenden, as you know, is with uh, Gino Rizzoli. Gino's not here, we've got Nick here. Obviously, you have some thoughts about the judgment itself. Uh, the cost judgment? Um, well, what it did effectively was protect uh, Mr. Rizzoli and I from having to bear Mr. Wickenden's costs. Um, because of course it realised that this wasn't simple civil litigation whereby the losing party actually uh, would face an adverse cost order and pay the other side's costs. This is a matter of public uh, interest because it's a disputed election and therefore um, effectively um, protected us and um, as a quid pro quo if one likes, um, protected Deputy Wickenden by ordering that costs should be paid by the public purse. Gino was a bit agitated uh, when the judgment was came down because he felt that Deputy Wickedham now had made a mistake, but he was being protected financially for having made that mistake. Is that, in other words, rather implying that Deputy Wickedham ought to incur some penalty for having made the mistake in the first place? Uh, yes, he is dissatisfied with the general judgment. Um, there's not much we can do about that. It does seem that it's been reverse engineered to um, protect Deputy Wickenden, who did run up a large bill at somewhere around 20 grand, whereas our costs in this matter were no more than about 500. Well, of course, your cost, but you didn't actually make a claim for your cost, did you? Which, presumably, because it was a public interest matter, you could have done so. Well, we didn't want to do so because uh, we. we deliberately kept our costs to a minimum. Um, maybe that was to our disadvantage, but perhaps it would have been better if we'd had an advocate. And perhaps for the future, in the, it looks as though the court might be saying that uh, perhaps in these issues legal aid possibly might be available and even the Sorry. court might pay the costs of um, well, what, applicants. What came out during the costs discussion, judgment, was this hitherto virtually unknown decision of a what is now uh, Senator Bay uh, Balash, but he was Deputy Bailiff, I think it was Flynn, and there was another case as well, where the, part, the public interest was justification for a party to bring an action. In other words, the fear that people might have that if they bring a public interest action, and if they lose, they might be incurring substantial costs, which would have happened in your case, that they f that was one of the supportive reasons they gave that yes there is precedent for people if they do bring public interest action that their costs shall be paid now that's quite that could be or it is but it could be in the future very significant for lots of people couldn't it? yeah the court uh, is going to i think in the future adopt the procedure of a protective costs order it'll bring the parties who are disputing these public issue matters before them, um, present them with the potential risks that um, proceeding may involve on terms of costs. But uh, there seems to be an implication that the protective costs order may be issued whereby there would be no order for costs if um, imposed upon the unsuccessful party so everyone knows where they stand and there seemed to be implication that public funds might be available to pursue those um, matters but you are a trained English lawyer solicitor you haven't practiced uh, as an English solicitor for some years Gino was not a trained lawyer of course but today we've just been to a rather interesting PR talk by the Jersey Law Society where we we were being told how there are 327 Jersey advocates and solicitors in private practice in Jersey. But of course, you didn't have the services of any of those in court to represent you. Why exactly was that? We couldn't afford it. We didn't want to, we knew to employ an advocate would raise, would require a lot of money. And we just couldn't afford it. Yeah, so we decided not to. We took some legal advice. The chief song. officer of the Law Society today, an ex-banker, I hasten to add, was singing the praises of Jersey's wonderful legal system and uh, how they donate so much of their time and effort to giving legal aid to uh, people who can't afford it. But the truth is, as we know, 
um, legal services are out of the reach of the ordinary person. Um, and the service that they do get, a lot of the public feel is inadequate. And of course, it's not free either. Uh, we know that.